Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the Avalite's Pearl Expert lighting console. The Pearl Expert runs the Avalite's Titan operating system. For this demonstration video, version 5 of the software will be used. To power the console on, press the switch located on the front. To turn the desk off, press the switch again and wait for the software to shut down. To connect the DMX lines to the outputs of the console, turn the key to the system position. Press the next button and then select DMX settings. Select the output type you wish to use on the left hand side of the screen. You can then click the DMX line you wish to assign it to on the right hand side of the screen. Firstly, press the patch button. The screen will then appear asking what type of device is to be patched. Select dimmers or find the required fixture within the console's library. Ensure the correct mode is selected. Enter the DMX line and address information and then select the handle you wish to patch the fixture onto. In order to create a palette, the attributes of the fixtures need to be set. Firstly, select the fixtures, and then use the grey buttons and the encoder wheels to set the required values. Double click in one of the spaces on the screen where the palette is to be stored. To record a cue, firstly set the attributes of your lights to the required levels. This can be done either using the encoder wheels or the palettes that you've previously created. Once this is done, press the record cue button. The cue can then be recorded to any of the playbacks on the roller cue. If you try recording over an existing cue, you will be asked whether you wish to merge or overwrite the cue. Deleting an item is easy. Simply press the delete button and then double tap whatever it is you wish to delete. Many items can be deleted in this way, including cues, cue stacks, chases, groups and palettes. To edit the timings of the queue, press the edit times button and then select the playback you wish to make changes to. Queue timings can now be entered using either the keyboard or the console's keypad. The shape generator can be used to apply an effect to a fixture or selection of fixtures. To apply an effect, select the fixtures, locate them and press the shapes and effects button. Press the shape generator button and then press create. Select the type of effect you wish to create. Various aspects of the effect can now be edited, including the speed, size, phase and spread. This example shows a tilt saw effect being used with a spread of one fixture. The effect can be recorded to a playback in the same way as a cue. Select the record cue button and then select the playback where you wish to store the effect. To use the pixel mapper, firstly select your group of fixtures, then press the shapes and effects button. Select pixel mapper and then press create effect. A window will open on the external monitor of the console. Here you can add shapes and motion effects to your selected group of fixtures. Examples of effects that you can create can be seen in the top corner of this screen. To save your show file, ensure the console is running in program mode. Press the disk button and then select save show. Type in a name for the show file and press the enter key. The console will then tell you that the show has been saved successfully. That's all for today. Thanks for taking the time to watch this demonstration video. I hope it has been helpful.